All right, so let's talk about pressure washer nozzles. The videos ago, someone had questioned, I'm reviewing power washers, I'm reviewing power washer hoses, and even the triggers, but I'm never talking about the actual nozzles themselves. You know, what they, how do you choose the right nozzle? How do you read them? All that kind of stuff. And I thought it was an important question. And it's something I wanted to kind of bring up and, and talk about and share it with everybody. So the first question is, why am I doing this video? Because I think it would be helpful for everyone to really understand what the different colors represent, how to read the numbers that are on the nozzles, picking and choosing the right nozzle for your pressure washer. And uh, let's just get right into it. This is Talking With Cars. So the first question people are gonna ask is what do the colors mean? Do these colors, you see this one's yellow, this one's red, and then there's typically a green and a white one. What do they represent? What do they actually mean? But every color actually represents something. It represents a function. So the red nozzle, this nozzle right here, is a zero degree nozzle. So that nozzle is really meant for high pressure. You know, there's no fan to it at all. So it's just really to get down and dirty and blast things off of surfaces. It delivers a very concentrated stream of water uh, and care should be taken, whether it's putting your hand in front of it or using it on, a, on something and you don't want to damage it. You really need to be careful when using a zero zero degree nozzle. So that's that one. Um, what do you normally use it for? Removing weeds uh, from sidewalk cracks, stubborn stains, chewing gum from concrete surfaces, stuff like that. Cleaning lawn mowers on the underside where it's metal and you're not going to damage anything. You definitely don't want to use it on your car or anything like that. So anyway, so that's what the red one is for. The next one is the yellow one. It's a 15 degree nozzle. The yellow one is uh, typically a chiseling nozzle, it's called. But it's a 15 degree angle nozzle. Um, and it's used to kind of scrape off like paint on surfaces, um, cleaning off downspouts, you know, really getting like heavy algae off of surfaces and stuff like that. So that's where I would use the yellow one, right? So it's a little bit more of a concentrated 15 degree angle, right? The fan, right? Because every one of these has like a different degree fan. So you starting with zero, right? So it's a straight stream. Then you're going to a 15 degree, right? So the fan, the degree of the fan is gonna be 15 degrees. And then you're gonna move on to the green, which is probably one of the most common for general purpose, right? That's the green one right here. And that's a 25 degree nozzle. And that's kind of used for, you know, flushing dirt, mud, grime, cleaning surfaces. Uh, and it's safer, much safer than a 15 degree and especially a zero degree nozzle. So you could use this on different surfaces, general surfaces, you know, in order to like clean those surfaces off. So anyway, concrete curbs, driveways, uh, floors, swimming pools, uh, cleaning barbecue grills, stuff like that. So. Green is your general, right? That's the one that you're gonna typically see. And when you buy a pressure washer, you're typically gonna get this one and you're typically gonna get the white one. And the white one's next. And that one is the 40, 40 degree nozzle, right? That's this one. And uh, this one I use for pressure washing my car, um, something where you have to be a little bit more delicate. So, and just remember, it's really simple. I mean, the, the, the larger the fan, the less pressure that's gonna be hitting the surface. So if you have a zero degree and it's just a, 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 just a stream of water coming out of that pressure washer and you're gonna hit the surface, it's gonna, be, it's gonna do some damage. But the more you increase the fan size, right, from zero to 15 to 20 to, you know, 40, you're gonna actually do less damage, right? So the 40 degree, this white one, is typically what I use on vehicles, right? It's what I use to wash down the cars, right? Because you're not gonna damage the paint, you're not gonna damage anything. I mean, you still wanna stay a little bit further away from the car, but you're gonna be much safer. And then typically there's one more uh, that, that sits in the, um, when you buy nozzle kits and stuff like that, there's a, a black one and that's kind of a soaker. Uh, one, you know, when you're introducing soaps and stuff like that in your pressure washer, you could use this and it kind of suds up while, while you're 
you know, it's got a huge, you know, hole on, on the end of it. I don't know if you can see that. And that's basically used to kind of like, it's, it's more volume of water. It's, it pulls up the uh, suds or the soap and it creates a suds, sudsing action. So that's what that one's for. There are a lot of different size uh, orifices that come with these, right? So now you know the degrees, you know, like the different colors, what they rep represent. So, and then the fan spread obviously for each, but each one of these can come in a different orifice size, right? So like, if you really look at this, okay, and I'll, and I'll bring up a picture, it'll say, this one says 40025. And what that means, and it's imprinted on here, and it could be, it could be printed on the side of it right here, or it could be printed on the on the surface of of the nozzle, like back in here, right? If you see that, and I'll, I'll pull up some pictures of that also. But basically, what that says is it, the first number represents the fan, right? So it's 40, which is 40 degrees. That's the, the white one, and then the second number, the 25, is actually the orifice size, right? So it's a 25. 2.5, right? And a 2.5 is a 1.07 millimeter orifice size, right? So it's small and there's much smaller. I mean, the Ryobi, the 1800 PSI unit that I just bought and reviewed is a 1.2 gallon per minute. So it's low gallons per minute, but a higher, higher pressure PSI, which means the orifice size on that has to be very small in order for you to get the PSI that you're looking for. But if I use this nozzle, if I use this 2.5 or the 1.07 millimeter, and I know it's a, approximately a 1700 PSI unit, I'm gonna get like, instead of 1.2 gallons per minute, I'm gonna get 1.65 gallons per minute. And this chart, and I'll, I'll share the, all this stuff down below in the links, you know, I mean, it helps you out a lot. But this will actually help you understand, depending on the size of the orifice and the pressure that you're getting, That'll tell you the flow, right? How many gallons per minute you're gonna get out of that pressure washer. And obviously there's a direct correlation with the size of the orifice as it gets bigger, the larger the flow, more gallons per minute are gonna come out, but also your, your pressure is gonna drop, right? So you're not gonna get 17, 1800 PSI anymore. Now you're dropping down to like 1200, 1500 PSI on that one specific unit if you're using a nozzle that's at a has a larger orifice size. You know, you have to kind of like pay attention to that and understand what it is that you're trying to do. When you're washing a car, you want a lot of flow. You want gallons per minute. You want to be able to kind of push as, as much water out there as possible because the PSI doesn't really matter. You're not looking to like really like use heavy PSI on a car surface. A thousand PSI is more than sufficient. Two, two gallons per minute is kind of where you want to go, right? That's like your sweet spot, right? So two gallons per minute at a 2.5, let's see, let's see where that ends up on the chart. So the 2.5 orifice, the, uh, the 40 degree, and let's say I'm, I'm okay with uh, 1,000 PSI. I mean, I'm getting like 1.25 uh, for, for a unit that's 1,000 PSI. 1.25 gallons per minute. Now, if the unit is 1700, 1800 PSI, like the Ryobi, I'm gonna be getting a flow of 1.65 gallons per minute. So you could tell it's obviously increasing the gallons per minute, the water flow that's coming out of the unit. And again, you have to understand what it is that you're trying to do. Are you cleaning the surface? Do you just want water flow or do you want pressure? If you're cleaning surfaces on a concrete driveway or a downspout, then you're gonna want higher PSI, lower water flow, right? So it's a balance, right? And you have to kind of play around with it to figure out what it is that you need to do. So like each nozzle has its own purpose and different degrees and different sizes. And I've seen these things go from 1.7 in size to all the way up to six, which is, I mean, the whole, the whole size on this thing on a six is pretty large and you're gonna be getting a lot of water flow through there. So, and I'm sure there's a, there's a purpose for that. Types of nozzles, I went out and I actually bought these. These are pretty cool because they have like a soft tip surface. And if you're kind of bumping into things like the car or something by mistake, you're not gonna damage anything. So they're heavy duty. They're made with a high quality stainless steel. This is made by a company called Ridge Washer. I mean, 
It's an Amazon special. It's something that you can get. I'll put the link down below and you can order these. It comes with an entire kit, basically all of them with the, the safety rubber tips. And it also comes with the, uh, the, the soaker too, if you're interested in that, but an extra O-rings uh, for these units. But yeah, I'm gonna try these out. I've tried this one already and it actually worked really well. And the quality of the fan too is actually, actually very good. So um, yeah, I'll link this down below so you guys can order it and give it a shot. But uh, you know, it's not that expensive. I don't even remember how much I spent for it. I spent on it, probably like 20 bucks. So anyway, those are the nozzles. Those are the different types of nozzles. Those are the purposes for each nozzle, uh, what the colors represent. I believe I kind of hit everything. Um, if you have any questions, please ask them down below and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. So the smaller the hole, the higher the pressure, the larger the hole, the more gallons per minute. And you have to kind of find that balance right between the two and figure it out uh, yourself, you know, and kind of use that chart that I showed you to kind of figure out where you want to be in terms of water flow. All right, so I hope that helps. I hope that answers some questions for the people who asked and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.